Hey everybody, I'm Garrett and these are reviews from Mob.org. Let's go. Actually, I like zombies. Zombie movies, TV series about them, some mornings I feel like a zombie myself. And I love zombie games, of course. So please welcome the second installment of the worldwide known game Plants vs. Zombies. The first installment was released in 2009. It created a stir and was, at that time, almost more popular than the Angry Birds that hatched out approximately around the same time. The game was really memorable and had not a single spice, but a whole sack of spices. First, the concept itself. The tower defense genre is, well, in principle, world old. But the idea about plants defending the house of their owner from hordes of zombies stirred the people. And all of us love a little bit of addiction. Besides, the game also had a tactical element. In other words, you needed to plant the plants wisely and in the right place. Otherwise, your brain would soon be eaten by a nasty zombie very quickly. And finally, the game had charm, despite how strange that sounds when you're talking about zombies. Both zombies and plants are nicely drawn, the animation was good, and everything was done rather nicely. As for the second installment, time travel. It's very strange, but I stopped wondering and remembered that we're talking about a game where plants wage war against zombies. Really, how surprised can you be? Time travel gave the developers a great ability to diversify locations. The actions take place not only in the Garden of Crazy Dave and the neighborhood, there's also Ancient Egypt, Pirates, and many more recognizable locations of bygone days. In comparison with the first installment, the game has more maps, more mini-games, and all of them are different and interesting, and you surely have a great arsenal of plants. Zombies have also become more varied, but remain just as clean as before. And the graphics and animations are also improved. Concerning other things, the gameplay remains unchanged, which I think is good. I saved the only minus of the game for the last moment, and that's donation. The game is free, but you're offered to buy more plants and other goodies almost at every turn. Truly, you can beat the game without them so far. So, I definitely advise the game for those who liked the first part, and for those who didn't have the opportunity to play it. That's all for today. If you liked the review, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, a few likes, and tell everybody about it. This was Garrett and Reviews from Mob.org. See you soon. Thank you.